Hey, welcome to another new creature review. This is Omar. How you doing? Today we are checking out Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy 6-Gun. I have been wanting this guy for quite some time now, and now he is in my possession. I got the uh, third-party 6-Gun right here, the uh, Legends class, or the Legends scale, I guess, uh, from Iron Factory. And uh, we'll, we'll compare them in just a bit, but... Right now, you know, he's Legends, he's Deluxe, and, uh, you know, there's there's no question. Um, he's he's definitely bigger. I wanted something bigger. Um, but the other third-party uh, options that I had back in the day, uh, no, they didn't outshine this guy because I wanted that scale. Now, I think Deluxe is a good scale for this guy. So let's check out the box. We've got our nice big product window. We've got our Transformers logo there, a Siege logo. We have some nice product art on the chamfer right there, deluxe class. And on this side, we have our Siege War for Cybertron artwork right there. On the back, we have product renders. There are 16 steps to this guy, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, he's also, he is a weaponizer. So he comes, in, comes apart and turns into a bunch of pieces that can uh, look pretty on Ironhide, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the weaponizer gimmick, but I mean, it's still cool. You know, <laughs> it adds a lot of replay value to these uh, to these figures if uh, if you're into that. But let's get into this. All right, how many ties? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. All right, only five ties. Way to go, Hasbro. You're making this easier. While still making him very secure inside the box. Already, he feels really nice. Um, in comparison to Cog, he feels amazing. Um, he just he feels more of a uh, he feels more like a figure than um, an accessory with a with a human humanoid form. He he feels like a real figure. That's really nice. Let's get in on this guy and check out his uh, his details here. Paint is a little chewy on his faceplate, but the blue is nice and sharp. I like that they use uh, different colored plastics here. They really pop and shine with that contrast. That's black paint right there. It looks really nice all the way around. I like these fins right here. Those look really cool. Nice. Very nice. The molding in detail is really nice on this. I really like the sculpt here. And the, uh, the, the attention to detail is really nice. Yeah. All right, let's get in on articulation on this guy. His uh, head is on a swivel. I don't think there's a ball joint in there. That's pretty tight uh, for... Um, for nodding that's I, I'm pretty sure that's a swivel let's see got a hinge right there and a swivel and hmm, that's uh, that's ratcheted pretty cool I like that all right we've got a swivel at the top or at the bottom of the bicep and we have a single jointed elbow nothing at the wrist we have waist swivel um, let's see. These <laughs> move. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like these up better than down. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that looks cleaner. I think anyway. All right. So we got the waist swivel. Um, and this, oof. <laughs> I don't like how easily that comes off. Uh, we've got um, outside kick. We got a swivel right there, all the way back, all the way front. There's a lot of range there. We have this swivel, right? We've got a single jointed knee and we have ankle tilt and the toe goes down and up, but I'm not sure that's going to help with any posing. So there is that. Let's uh, set this guy back up. We'll do some size comparisons. Here he is with a couple of Optimus Primes. Here he is with a couple of Spider-Mans, Spider-Men. <laughs> and here he is with his fellow Weaponizer Cog. And here he is with Iron Factory turrets and manacle. Let's explore his, uh, his many modes. First transformation. As parts forming kibble bots go, this is pretty good. Let's get in on this. That's nice. I'm really digging all of the um, the um, the uh, detail in the sculpt really helps this thing come together. Otherwise, it's kind of not great. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the um, the overall look of this alt mode. It's kind of like a hovercraft attack plane kind of thing. I guess that should go in. Yeah. Yeah. And true to his name, he is decked out with all sorts of weapons. We got the missile boxes right here. We've got four cannons here. We've got two laser cannons there. We have two uh, two cannons here. Let's see, anything else? I guess you can kind of use his knees too. <laughs> I don't know, like a diagonal down kind of thing. This guy is decked out. He is more than six guns. One, yeah, he's, oh gosh, what? So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten gun? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's cool. That's really cool. All right. Let's uh, check out his uh, his pieces mode, I guess. <laughs> his defensive loadout. So here are all his pieces. We've got his arms right there. Got his legs. We have his abdomen and his waist, part of his hips, and we have his uh, upper torso. All right, so we will take his feet, put these out, straighten these up. Do these close all the way? No, no, they don't. Okay. And then we will stick these in here. And we'll use these guns right here. To go on the ends right here. Those don't fit very snugly. And this is supposed to go on he, a siege figure's back. That is a little bit overkill. So this is defensive? Oh, 
can take this, slide those out there like that. Uh, what? Okay, okay, all right. flip this out and that flips out easier than you'd expect because it lays down flat but it pops out you just put your finger your thumbnail in there and it pops right out all right and this goes where where does this go like right there like that oh he's so back heavy All right, so there he is. Very, very heavy. <laughs> All right, this seems more of a hassle than it would uh, be worth on the uh, battlefield. This is war for Cybertron, not na nature hike up a hill for Cybertron. <laughs> Doesn't look like Sideswipe's having a fun time here. <laughs> In the instructions, they show him with his little feet things, but those feet things are right there. So right here, it's like they have two six guns and they're using four legs. Huh. You don't have that many legs to spare, instructions. All right, so that's the defensive loadout. For the offensive loadout, let's take this off. The burdens on Sideswipe's back. They're terrible. It's horrible. All right. So we'll fold those back in. And we will use these on the bottom of his feet. Give him a little bit of height. apart let's go in here those don't stay very tight it's nice but it doesn't stay tight that looks cool that goes in his wrist goes on his back like so sort of no maybe oh that doesn't want to fit <laughs> all right and we'll take out his shoulder cannon doesn't seem to want to come out there we go And we will use these for her shoulder cannons. There he is. Ready to fight. All right, let's check out his final weaponizer form. Ooh. <laughs> oh, don't like that. Okay, put this back on.
Okay. This goes this, this goes this, like such, and thusly, so forth, henceforth. Okay. I think. That feels weird. Because these are these are chamfered in. So it doesn't feel like it's straight. Put that there. Let's take this off. Okay. Point these forward. And then these are supposed to go together. That is okay. <laughs> but then you have all these pieces left. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay. So we will stick this on his wrist. And I'm, I'm not sure hype high precision launcher gauntlet <laughs> you can see he's standing on one foot he's just balancing on this one overall i don't like the weaponizer gimmick because it just seems to throw off their center of balance it doesn't seem like it would benefit them at all to uh wear one of their comrades into battle it seems like having another um Soldier on the field would be a lot more beneficial than having um, one of your soldiers turn into uh, a burden on another soldier. <laughs> yeah, so let's get this guy back together and we'll, uh, we'll uh, check out some final thoughts here. All right, here he is back in bot mode and uh, let's go ahead and check out these final thoughts. I like him. I like him a lot. He's... Um, Gosh, he's he's really flimsy. Um, he's a lot flimsier than uh, than Cog, which is surprising, you know, because I I consider Cog to be pretty junky himself. But I don't know, six gun, he does it for me. Uh, Cog doesn't. Um, I I don't know what there else there is to say about that. Um, I like his. Um, I like all of the detail that goes into his uh, into his sculpt. I like all of his weaponization. Um, I do not like the weaponizer um, gimmick, though. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you sacrifice one uh, of your soldiers to just be a burden on another soldier and just make two two of your um, comrades into one really uh hindered and clunky target i i don't know it just doesn't make any sense to me six gun look at this guy he looks like he's uh ready to fight ready to go you know and uh i don't know i i wouldn't want to give this guy up uh I, I would like to have him on my side without being uh taken apart and stuck onto another figure but that's just me you know so let me know what you think about this guy in the comments below um if you like this review, give me a like. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put new stuff up on the channel. I'll be taking pictures of this guy, so don't worry about that. It'll be on my Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.